<laughs> what is up, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to uh, another video. Uh, uh, why are you wearing sunglasses there, huh, bud? We we trying to do there, huh? Look cool. Well, I'll tell you, you little smaller version of me. I have two bright lights here that I am not trying to look directly into because I, I like my eyesight. I, I generally want to be able to see, so that way I can, uh, you know, play video games and make videos and drive and stuff like that. You know, just general things that you need your eyeballs for. <laughs> Alright, jokes aside, what is up everybody? Again, welcome to the video. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed my last video. If you haven't checked it out already, click in the link in the description down below. And uh, it's, it's there. It's about mental health and being a content creator. So if you're a content creator and you have uh, shitty mental health, then it might be a good video for you. Or just a fun video to watch in general. Well, PAX South is in... A few days and I am so excited so I decided to make a video about my experiences about with PAX South and other gaming conventions and just the reasons I like gaming conventions in general so my first convention was GameStop Expo in 2016 maybe 2015 I can't remember uh, I went with my roommate who introduced me to the whole idea of gaming conventions that I had never really knew that they were a thing until uh, I went <laughs> with him and I mean, I knew what they were. I just I didn't really like ever consider going to one. And he also is the person that introduced me to the most awesome esports ever, Optic. Um, so we drove from San Diego to Anaheim, and it was a blast. I actually ended up going. I actually, blah, 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 blah. I actually actually ended up getting a free gaming chair because they didn't want to apparently ship it back, so they just gave it to me. I was like, cool. This, this, this is a this is what the chair looks like. And yes, I am twerking on stream. That's a really funny clip if you want to see that. Link in the description. Get up! Get up! Get! Get up! So I ended up having, having so much fun that next the next year, blah, 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 I can't talk right now. The next year I went to VidCon, then PAX West, and then GameStop Expo again. And I think somewhere in there there was TwitchCon. I think that that, that was, yeah, I think at the end of that year I went to TwitchCon as well. I, I really went ham. I, I just went to like all the conventions. I was like, yes, yeah, sign me up. I'm going to all of them. The first, the uh, VidCon, PAX, and GameStop were pretty much back to back. I actually ended up flying uh, and the last day of PAX to GameStop Expo, which was interesting. Which, the second time around, I'll admit, GameStop Expo wasn't that fun. It was fun, but it was just not, it was kind of like, eh, I'm bored. Now, VidCon, on the other hand, VidCon was interesting because I actually got to meet, like, Casey Neistat and a bunch of other really cool YouTubers and met some friends. Um, but, holy crap, the fans. Jesus. They were, shall I say, insane? <laughs> I literally saw a herd of kids chasing some poor YouTuber. Like, does it not click in their mind? Like, oh, maybe this is not the best idea. Maybe I'm not, you know, making the YouTuber who I really like happy. You know, maybe I'm scaring them a lot. But my favorite convention out of all of the ones I went was PAX. Uh, we had our first date. Um, on the Space Needle, which was awesome, and I got to meet a lot of really cool peeps. Also close second was twitchcon um the first day it was actually it was the first one that they had so it had to be the first twitchcon that was that year i went and it, it definitely close second because it was so much fun um i actually got to meet one of some of my favorite twitch streamers i got to meet uh omg is firefox and i i jericho like they're two top two favorite streamers although i don't really watch them anymore which is kind of awkward like i still watch their youtube videos and stuff but I, I don't know, right now I'm watching a lot of Summit, so... At the time, they were my favorite Twitch streamers, but I, I still love them both. I really want to go back to TwitchCon one day. It, it's it's absolutely amazing. Now, me and, me and Pixie, we've gone to PAX South three times. This, this would be our third time to go into PAX South. Uh, so it's kind of like a tradition to go, and last year was a lot of fun. Um, I actually entered a Hearthstone tournament where I faced off against Froden. Uh, Frodon? Frodon? Frodin? Frodon? Don, 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 don. 
um, it, this is like when I first got into Hearthstone, so I had a really basic deck, and he's just like pro Hearthstone caster, professional player with a really beast deck. And I did hold my own for the most part, but I ended up getting decimated, but it was still one of the coolest experiences of my life. Like, it top 10 was just being in that tournament. It was just so, oh, I don't know. I, just, I love esports. And I, I swear, I, I almost won. Not really. I, I got decimated. <laughs> So yeah, I have a lot of great experiences with gaming conventions, and I have a lot of stories, but I can't fit them all in one video, so instead, here are the top things I think are great about conventions. Yay. Number one. These are my people. <laughs> gaming conventions are great because everyone there is like you. We're all nerds who love video games, cosplay, esports, and so on. For example, TwitchCon is the only place where I can say Summit can tuck my ship any day and actually get the joke. If, if you didn't get the joke, look up Summit tucks in ship. You, just watch it. You, you'll get it. <laughs> Number two, new friends. Like I mentioned above, people there are very much like-minded. So it's super easy to meet new people and new friends and have amazing experiences with them. Me and Pixie actually met this really cool guy called Eric. Um, and link to his Twitch and YouTube are going to be in the description down below. Please check him out. He's just awesome. And we stayed up all night in his hotel room just playing Super Fight. And we had just met that day. Like, me and him got, like, apparently are super similar. Like, me and him have a very similar mentalities. So it was really cool. And we just all got along really well. And, and yeah, we were just playing Super Night all night in, in, in the hotel. And I was just like... This can only happen at gaming conventions. Like, Jesus. <laughs> Keep in mind, these peeps ain't gonna judge you for collecting pins. In fact, it's encouraged at PAX. Didn't know that, did you? Number three, the lines. Have you ever wanted to strengthen your leg muscles after hours and hours of sitting at a desk? Well, you, my friend, you're in luck. All you have to do is go to PAX South, stand in the merch line for, on the first day, and I guarantee you, you'll have either legs of steel or no legs at all. Seriously, bring a chair. That line is long. Number four, mental health. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah making a mental health thing. Well, okay, come on, that's like that's me. I am about mental health. <laughs> what did you expect? As I mentioned before, there's a lot of acceptance, 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 acceptance at these conventions. On top of that, there are usually tons and tons of panels. And a lot of these panels sometimes are with awesome content creators and peeps in the industry talking about mental health and about getting better. I actually went to a panel with Pixie. Um, it was an anxiety gaming panel. And holy shit, the feels. When you're in a big ass room with lots of people who have similar, if not the same issues as you, you really start to get it and get motivated to get better. So it's, it's really cool. And it's like a lot of times, you know, you feel conflicted about talking about your mental health with other people. And at these conventions, everyone gets it because a lot of us have shitty mental health. So it's like you're welcome to talk about it and you have people there as a support group. And they're, like I said, little panels on this stuff. And it's great. It's it's awesome. If you go to a convention and there's a mental health panel, make it a point to go to it because you will feel just so motivated afterwards. Number five, panels. There are a shit ton of panels on a shit ton, ton of topics. Need I say no more? Number six, this is specific towards PAX, the Omegathon. PAX has this thing called the Omegathon. It's a giant tournament with each round being a random game and the final event of the convention being the Omegathon finals. Like think about this, every round is just a different random ass game. It's so cool and it's random and fun and entertaining to watch. And I'm not gonna really spoil anything about the Omegathon for you guys, okay? You need to experience the full thing in person. But I am going to say one thing. I'm team, team Mark Pisser. Okay? Ain't nothing you can do about it. I'm always going to be Team Mark Pisser. Even though he may never compete again, I'm always going to be there for him. So get out there, get to a convention, and you can thank me later. Preferably in my Twitch chat. Link in the description down below. So, that's it. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will be going to PAX 2019 with Pixie. Uh, we'll be vlogging it, so I have, I'm going to do kind of like a cool montage vlog animation thing basically the same kind of video i was i'm you know 
have been making and will continue to make. So uh, stay tuned for that one, guys. So make sure you subscribe and uh, turn notifications on because that's totally working. Absolutely. <laughs> if you guys want to stay updated on my streams and stuff, uh, feel free to go ahead and follow me on Twitch or Twitter or Instagram where you can watch all my cool, you know, see all my cool art. Cool. And, <laughs> and stuff like that. So, um, yeah. Yeah. Like the video if you liked it. Dislike if you don't like it, I guess. Comment down below if you guys have any cool stories about conventions or why you want to go to a convention. Comment section is open. And, um, yeah. I'm trying to think of a new outro because the one I've been using is just kind of old. I want to change it up a little bit. Yeet on, my friends. Yeet on. Ever wanted to strengthen? <laughs>